So there's a new Minecraft Legends update that released a few days ago, and I think it's no one cares. Literally nobody asked. I mean, I think it's pretty cool, so in this video I'll be making a shut up nobody asked. <laughs> Also, if you enjoyed the video, then please consider subscribing, since it has made a lot, and I make content like this all the time. But anyways, let's continue with the video. So, in the new Minecraft Legends update, there's a new structure that you can build called the Witch's Cauldron. Or just Cauldron, I don't remember. Anyway, not important. Um, so, yeah, in this video, I'll be making it. But you might see that there isn't really a Witch's Cauldron around me right now. And that's because I, have to, I actually have to go into another world, uh, because I built it there and I was too lazy to build it in my actual world. So then here I am in the correct world, uh, and then, yeah, right here I've got the Witch's Cauldron, uh, and by the way, this bottom layer of blocks is going to be hidden under the ground, uh, just because, like, all, pr pretty much all of the Minecraft- Now, you might have already noticed, actually, that this cauldron is a little bit bigger than usual, um, and that's because it's not even actually a block, uh, it's instead a block display entity. And this is actually the first time I've used a block display entity, and it's surprisingly easy to use, and now I'm probably gonna use it in, like, every single one of my builds. I think this looks really, really cool. Um, so, yeah, I guess now let's just copy this structure over to my command block world, and then we can start actually doing the commands. So now I've just copied the structure over, it's just that now it looks a little bit different. And that's because, like, all of these command blocks here are actually going to be triggered when I paste them in. Uh, because then this one is going to summon in, uh, like, the actual cauldron here. But then all of these are actually going to place in the red mushrooms, because this surprised me actually way too much that you can't place mushroom on grass. I never knew this. I thought you could place mushrooms on pretty much any block, because that's how they generate, but... Apparently not, um, so yeah, now um, all of these command blocks are in, but when all of them are triggered then it should look exactly like the one that we saw in my previous world. So now let's start with the building mechanism of this, and first I'm just going to head over here to my zombie spawner creation and copy this command block, this command block, this command block, and that command block. But now if I throw 20 prismarine shards, uh, 20 golden ingots, 15 iron ingots, 15 coal, 15 diamonds, and 15 redstone on the ground, it summons in an LA. <laughs> and there's actually also an armor stand right by that LA, uh, so that then I can execute at that armor stand, and then teleport up while summoning in the layers, like I've done with every single other uh, command block creation here. But I think I'll actually try a new method for uh, like building up the structure here, because Previously, it was pretty painful, like, I still have, you know, PTSD from making the protector tower. Of just putting in all of the command blocks to summon in, like, every single block. I think I'll do a method that's hopefully going to be a little bit easier. And that is using the clone command. That's why I've left in, like, all of these command blocks here and stuff. Because here, uh, what I can do is just clone from this block to this block, and then just clone that to a block below the LA. Yeah, hopefully that'll be easier, but I guess only time will tell, so time lots time, I guess. Alright, so now all of the command blocks for the building system for the cauldron is in. And this is so much smaller than, like, anything else. <laughs> like, this entire area is the building system for that small of a structure. And, like, this is, like, <laughs> at least twice the size, at least in layers. Um, and, like, it's this small. But now I've just got the correct items, let's just drop them on the ground. And as you can see... It builds up perfectly. Now, you can see for, like, a split second uh, all of the command blocks and also that uh, one of the dirt block or one of the grass blocks is actually dirt. Uh, now, uh, here you can see that the dirt block is because the command block is above that and I really didn't want to just make another layer because I'm lazy. Um, but, yeah, so you can see that for a split second, but I don't think there's any way to avoid that. Also, something that was quite annoying, uh, like, whilst building this was that uh, since the cauldron structure doesn't have a center block like all of the other structures that I built has. Uh, then I had to make it be like, uh, here, like point, uh, like 2.5 blocks, uh, so that 
even though like it would like the armor stand would still only be on one block it would still try and center it as close as it could to uh, the armor stand uh, as its midpoint so now onto the particle system which is quite a lot of particles because as you can see in this clip like there's particles around the rim there's particles on like the uh, like on your units there are particles coming out of the cauldron there's just particles everywhere so yeah i'll probably be at this for a while um so yeah i'll see you in a bit i guess it's montage time oh my god dude that's actually really close to the color that i wanted i just took in some random numbers <laughs> Alright, so now all of the particles are in, and I think this looks very cool. <laughs> like, I did not think I would be able to make it look this good, and I know that kind of like the middle particles right here um, isn't like exactly how it looks in game, but honestly, I think this one looks better, you know? I, I feel like the story that I've kind of made is that like some of like kind of magical fairy dust or whatever <laughs> kind of uh, goes out of the cauldron and then some of it isn't strong enough so then it just drips back down but then some of it becomes like these little stars that go into this little area around it which I don't know, I think that's pretty cool. And then of course also the area around it I feel like looks pretty cool. I didn't spend that much time on it but I don't know, I, I feel like it's pretty good. So now let's move on to actually buffing all units that are inside of this. So let's just make a command that gives all mobs inside of the circle strength. Which should just be this command block, so now I have strength 2 for 20 seconds, so if I now just go out here, then it slowly counts down from 20 seconds, which is uh, what it does in-game. Uh, and then now, like, I guess we're just gonna go through the list of every single mob, I feel like I do this in like every single video, go through the list of every single mob and just only take the ones that I want to get the strength buff. Okay, so now I've added in the strength buff and actually also just the particles uh, around you uh, when you have the strength buff. Um, and this actually wasn't as hard as I thought it would be, because instead of having to, like, deselect every other mob, what I instead did was just select every mob that I wanted to select. Um, so this was every mob that has the MBT of being tamed, and also every mob with the tag of MCL tamed, uh, which I just added this command block in this video, um, on my zombie spawner creation, and that tag will be for every single spawner mob. Also, I should probably mention that I don't actually know if like the player gets a strength buff from the cauldron in minecraft legends but i just felt like you should you know like <laughs> what why not you know uh, so yeah i just made it be like that and also uh, that the zone isn't like it probably isn't as big as it is in minecraft legends just because like i don't know how, how big it is in minecraft legends i just did it from memory and i've seen it like once when i was testing it out and getting the footage the update came out yesterday okay and i also made sure that the particles around the player is a little bit smaller than the particles around every other entity um just that like then it's a little bit easier to see um uh, but then also here of course you get the strength effect uh, so it's strength 2 for 20 seconds and then as soon as leave the area here as, as, so as soon as soon as why doesn't it go down? Don't mind me, just fixing my strength effect real quick. And then now if I go out... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now it counts down from 20. Um, so, yeah, like, I feel like strength is all I'm going to give. Um, so, yeah, I mean, right now I feel like this is pretty good. What are you doing? So I guess that's then everything that I'm going to make for the cauldron right here. Um, and yeah, I feel like I'm missing something, though. Um, oh, the destruction system. Alright, so now the destruction system is finally finished, and yeah, I've been at this for so long, as you can see by the just sheer amount of command blocks here. Um, and yeah, I mean, continues the trend of these Minecraft Legends creations being way too big. Um, but yeah, so now if you destroy any block in the structure, then the cauldron will disappear. So if I just summon in a new one, for example, like over here, uh, then yeah, the cauldron will disappear, the particles will stop, and everything like that. So if I, for example, destroy another stair block, then yeah, exactly that happens. Uh, and then also, of course, the strength stop coming, and although you still got 20 seconds. Um, so yeah, and that works with every single block. 
And yeah, I mean, I'm pretty happy with that, honestly. Um, and I think that's then everything, like for real this time. Everything that I'm going to make, right? So I guess this is then gonna be everything for this video. So if you liked it, then just remember there's a button for that. But yeah, this will be everything for this video. So bye!